Hey guys, it's Lisa and today is Saturday and we're going to do a Zara try on haul. I just got through trying on everything and I'm so glad that I try on things before the video, of course, and I'm also glad that I do it like all in the same day so that all the thoughts are like fresh in my mind. I'll be honest with you, the things that I thought I might not like I ended up loving and then the things that I loved when I took out of the box I ended up not being as excited about it. Let's start off with another tank top that they personalize and I like this one better and I feel bad in case you got the other one but it's not like they're just alike. First of all this one is not 100% cotton. It does have some elastane in it so it probably won't shrink as much as the cotton would. I like that they did the little embroidery up higher and I like that it's ribbed. So this is just such a versatile piece. One of the biggest surprises of the day, and I hope you can see, oh, I should have moved this. Let me back you up a little bit. Yes, you can see them a little better. See how they have the ties on the side. They're kind of like a canvasy fabric. Oh my goodness. I love these. This is, I mean, this is like one of the biggest surprises. I think that they are super, super versatile because you can dress them up. You can do like I have now. I just have on my favorite Zara shoes and, or you can put flip-flops on with them and like I'm going to do today. So this is, I think I showed it to you either last week or the week before, but this is the oversized linen blazer and I did order a small and I love it. I've just, I've kept it downstairs because I have worn it like every day. It's comfortable. It's kind of lived in so it's not too formal looking. It's the perfect shoulder pad structure look. It's still pretty. It's a really, really pretty linen and I just, I mean, I think like this outfit is so good. Okay, so now let me bring you back a little bit closer so we can be up close and personal here. Okay, I pretty much knew I was gonna love this. Ooh, it's so good. This is so good. This is just perfect. It is just a good classic. Keep for the rest of your life, black and white gingham check blazer. This is going to be one of those pieces that you just wear over and over again. And it's, it is lined. So you're going to be able to wear it. I wouldn't probably wear it in the dead of winter just because it's not that type of fabric, but it is a three season blazer. And this will go over anything. Your graphic tees, a sweatshirt, any color dress. Say you even have a bright Kelly green roughly dress with, I'm just making this up, rhinestone straps and crisscrosses in the back, like a really complicated dress, you can still throw this over it and it will look great. So this I would say is a must have. I did get the small. So speaking of throwing it over a colored dress, this is my classic like Zara love here. If you've been here with me for any amount of time, you know every summer, I end up ordering dress after dress after dress from Zara and their coordinate sets. That's another thing that I just, and their blazers and these shoes. But these dresses are, I think they were, I've already taken the tags off of these. I think they were right around $30. I love the straps. Here, I'll show you this one. The way it's kind of like a really, really thin spaghetti strap. It is lined just, you know, through the boob area. This would be good with just those stretchy tube ones. Because it's a double lined, I don't think it will show. It won't show any like lines or whatever. The beauty of it is put on your regular schmegular bra and then put on this blazer. So good. Or put on your denim cropped jacket, your leather moto jacket. Think of this as a great base piece. Remember when I, before I lost weight and started carnivore, my favorite thing to do was to get a black dress and then wear just an overshirt or a blazer, long sweater. That's what I would do because then you still get that silhouette. Don't look sloppy. You still look sexy and neat 
but you just put that third layer over it and it just helps. It helps the, the side and everything else. And that's another thing with like this blazer. I think it helps posture or the illusion of good posture. It strengthens your shoulders. So both of these dresses are here to stay. I love them. I love the length. They're good with flip-flops. You could dress these up to an extent, but I think they're more like wedge or these lucite shoes or um, just their summer dresses. They're summer dresses. So I think that they're just amazing. The pink look one looked really good with the gingham, but the black one with the gingham kind of fell flat. So I ended up putting the black one with this little cropped tweed jacket that I showed you last week. Another winner. Just so good. That kind of elevated this. So this is definitely an outfit for a date night, a dinner. If you're going out of town and you just want a good lunch outfit or something, of course, this is also very good with jeans. Putting these together was good and then these separately is really good too. Oh my goodness. This is the sweetest, most wholesome, sexy dress. It's sexy because it fits very well. Wholesome looking because, I don't know, I guess the print, it's got that linen look. Very flattering with all of the pleats. It looks much better on because your body fills out these pleats. It's got like a little bit of pink in it. I hope you can see. But this is for those of you girls that love more of your earthy tones, whereas I usually gear more towards hot pink and black and white and those colors. This is more of your more subdued colors. It's just beautiful. This would be so good for any occasion that you have coming up because if you didn't feel comfortable going without sleeves. It looked amazing with a denim jacket. This is actually a jacket from Gap that I have coming up, a Gap try-on haul, and I have already used this in so many different videos. Some of them you haven't seen yet. It's just a really cool jacket. When I used to see these, I would think, eh, you know, I'm not going to get that. I can cut the bottom off of one of my jackets. But then I thought, do I have any jackets that I want to cut the bottom off? When I went in Gap, they were having the buy one, get one half, and I grabbed it, and I have reached for this so many times. It's just a little bit different, and the fact that it's cropped like that with the no band on the bottom is just that little element. It's like that whole, you know, I always say cool girl style, and that's it. You're mixing things that don't quite go together or aren't expected. It's kind of like going in the furniture store, and you see like like the whole set of furniture. Some people would prefer to take that whole set home and set it up just like it is in that furniture store. This is like taking half of the set home and then mixing your own end table, own chair to go with the sofa. That's how this is. But here are two new pair of shoes from Zara that I ordered. And I think they also come in a green color. They didn't come in a nude because if they'd have come in a nude, I would have had them. But I just think they're really cool. They've got kind of like that squared off toe, but it's still tapered. It's not crazy looking. A little bit of detail on the footbed. Your nice architectural, but still sturdy heel. Now I would not say these are flip-flops. These still give you a little bit of a sandal heel feel. Sandal heel feel, <laughs> I came up with that on my own. Here are the white ones, you can see them better. The white actually really work with a lot of things. Like even that dress, I think I might have tried it on with this to pull out a little bit of crispness in that dress. These would also look good with your white blazer, denim Bermuda shorts or something like that. Now you know I'm always gonna go for the nude shoe. That's just always gonna be my favorite, but I do like a pop every once in a while. Okay, then along those same lines, I ended up ordering this skirt. Matter of fact, I ordered two. So I added it to the cart twice. That's how much I like it. Very similar to this one, but this one is a little bit, a little bit more olive, but similar print. I would say this one is slightly more of a fresh look, but look at those buttons. I'm a sucker for the buttons. They're kind of like a wooden and that slit, this is perfection, perfection. I believe I tried it on with this tank top and I tucked it in and this is a medium. I would say if you are a typical size small with a typical waist, then get the small. 
because it had plenty of room. Like before I tucked in this tank top, I thought this might not look good. You know, I might need to wear the tank out, but I had enough room. Hey. Here comes a disappointment. It's this blazer. And I mean, I love the color. I love it. I've always loved like tie dye. You know, I love blue. I love blue and white. I love blazers. I love silky things. So what's not to like? I should have gotten the pants. I was worried if I got the pants to match, it would be, have you guys seen the mushroom jacket, the mushroom belt and all that stuff? I can't remember what movie that was, but I didn't want it to be too over the top, but this needs the pants. I don't think it has the weight and the structure. You don't get the advantages of a typical blazer. I think if you had it with those blousy pants that matched and you put this tank or even just a plain gap v-neck t-shirt, I would put it on with this and those pants and flip-flops and you are going to have or even I don't think you can do sneakers because I think the I think the weight is going to be because it's it's really silky and beautiful but it's not what I want without the pants so I'm gonna have to make the decision do I want to order the pants or return this. For me to wear the whole outfit, I would want an event. I would want a special occasion. It wouldn't be something like a pink linen suit. That's something that's an everyday thing and an event. But this is kind of like a one hit wonder. You know what I mean? So I do think that there's a time and place for the whole suit. So I was kind of disappointed because I really loved it so much when I took it out. You know, that's just the way it goes. Another just thing that was so amazing, rocked my world. These pants, these are the ultimate white cargo type pants. They're almost, they give me painter's pants vibe, but look at how beautiful they are. They fit so nicely. I do recommend sizing up in white pants unless you are just perfect. <laughs> you can add your belt to it. I don't think you have to. You could dress them up. You can put heels on with it. You can also flip them up a couple of times. You could cut them off, wear them with wedges. Just, this is one of those things you could get. And I think you could wear these once a week. Ooh, I was just thinking these um, pants would look good with the New Balance, the gray New Balance that I showed you on Friday. Um, honestly, it's only a matter of time till I probably get every color of the Marine jeans. These are their best sellers and I can see why. It's the Marine jeans and I went ahead and got the denim. I am not going to cut these off. I like how they look. I don't care if they're not that cropped on me. I feel like it gives me a different look than what I already have and they're just so pretty. They're so comfortable when you put them on. It is like a comforting feeling. It's, it's so hard to describe. They're just so stretchy the whole way out but I feel like they're still flattering. I recommend with all of my heart the marine jeans in whatever color you like. I did end up wearing these today. These are the white ones that I wear I think in probably every video. That's how versatile they are. This is just a little, it's something that I don't typically gravitate towards, but it's a little tunic. What I liked about it is I feel like it's kind of chic looking. It's kind of minimal. It doesn't have like a bunch of stuff stitched in here. It's, I got the medium. It was $69.90 and that's it's a little bit pricier probably because of all of the stitching, but it's just so pretty. This is your vacation vibes. I am a firm believer that you do not have to be on vacation to have vacation vibes. It is a state of mind. I know that because yesterday I got to go to the pool for the first time. I don't know if it's literally the sun and the vitamin D. I only stayed for an hour or what it is, but I, it was like I was on a high just from it being summer and being in the sun and it not getting dark until late and just loving my life and where I live and my husband and it made me feel that way. It was like, ooh, I'm on vacation. So that's, that's the way I look at it. I'm someone who doesn't travel a lot. It's not that I don't like to travel, but I don't need to. I'm very happy where I am. I create my own 
vacation vibes. Life is short. And I don't know if you guys have ever had just like a little bit of a scare, just a, a little bit. And you think, I'm going to live every day just like I want to. I'm not going to wait until I go on vacation. I'm not going to wait until there's a special occasion. I'm not going to wait until this or that. I'm going to make it happen. Especially women our age, breaks my heart that they don't see that this is our time. We've raised our kids. We've gone through school. This is it. This is our time. So I hope that, oh, gave me chills. Hey, this anyway. is something else that I got, not my typical. Thought, well, maybe I'll like it. And a lot of times I'll order things thinking maybe I'll like it, but I'll bet a lot of you would like it. This is the best shirt. The way that it feels is unlike any other shirt I've ever had like this. So is it a linen blend? 51% linen, 49% viscose. So that tells you it's easy breezy it's not silky but it's still very soft and it is just beautiful it has a beautiful drape over your body it is like the perfect tone of blue gosh like a perf perfect like draped shoulder put this open over a white bodysuit and some cut off denim jeans and your flip flops, like rainbow flip flops, not rainbow colored, but like the brand rainbow that are nude that just, you know, melt right into your feet. That would be the prettiest brunch outfit running around. I mean, it's just so pretty because of the fabric, it gives it a different look. If there's those of you out there, which I know are more of the sporty, vibe kind of like my mom and you like stuff that's more tailored you're not into ruffles you're not into low cut stuff you're not into silky things this is that shirt for you this is so pretty this would also look good tucked into some linen white like drawstring pants oh my goodness good. okay. this is something i can look at this and tell i'm gonna like it it's a good little t-shirt let me count the ways that i love this i love the cap sleeve. To me, that's flattering. It gives you a strong shoulder, has a little bit of edge. I love this type of seam. It's just fitted enough. It's really soft. Let me see what this is. I've already cut the tag out of this. It's very cottony feeling, but it has to it's really soft. So I'm curious, it might have something else in it. I got a size medium and the final kicker, kind of like those New Balance tennis shoes, I love this color gray. It's almost like a cement gray. And that is weird. Usually I say cement, but I said cement. Am I losing my accent? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but it's a really pretty gray and I love it. It's kind of worn in. It's a good one. This was the biggest surprise of all when I got this. I thought, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I can't wait to wear that. I love it. As my grandma used to say, it didn't shake me up. It's just so pretty and like it has all the ingredients of things that I like, but I just, it didn't wow me. I do like the top. I think it's really pretty. Oh gosh, if I keep looking at it, I'll talk myself back into it. What are you doing, Shania? Are you taking a bath? Huh? Yeah. The strappy bodysuit in this fabulous green color. I don't think I tried this on for you because I feel like I've worn this so much. The white one and the black one. And then I even have the gray one over here. But this color, I bought this, I think last year in the halter neck. It looks so good with regular denim. It looks good with khaki. It looks good with white, of course. It would look good if you have gotten the marine jeans. Okay, and say that you want to wear this, you don't like your arms or your shoulders or whatever. You don't feel comfortable just having a spaghetti strap, then put this over it. Put something over it, but this is such a good pop of color and just so pretty and so inexpensive. I think it's a good piece to have. This, you guys. Even when my daughter Brooke was steaming this for me, she brought it in. I was working in my office and she said, Mama, this is gorgeous. And I said, I know it actually came in white too, but I wanted to do something different because I feel like I'm always showing you guys like the white sheer or eyelet tops. It's kind of like that eyeshadow that I like that's almost a substitute for black. A lot of times in some old Bridget Bardot pictures and Sophia Loren, they're black. It's almost like that green black that they use for their eyeliner. That's what it reminds me of. It is just beautiful. Now this one's a little bit more expensive. It's 119. I got the medium, but look at all of the beading. 
and it's all over it. I mean, it is just gorgeous. I will admit, I didn't know what the heck to do with this color because I'm not used to this tone and this darkness in the summertime. Black linen trousers, not black regular dressy trousers. This would look good with black linen or maybe get the black strappy little bodysuit, put it under this, maybe either, oh, and look how the little button, is that, is that called a placket? Why am I thinking that? Maybe, uh, we'll see. But the collar and this, see how it's like a silky, satiny type material? And you know I'm a sucker for good sleeves. The sleeves are beautiful. So you could put this on with this over it and you could button it up or leave it open or <laughs> just button it like starting down here. I would say linen black trousers or a linen skirt. Oh my goodness. Or linen shorts. That would look pretty. I love, even on a guy, I love long sleeves with shorts. One of my favorite looks on a guy is like khaki shorts with a long sleeve t-shirt, like a khaki shorts and a long sleeve like surfing or fishing t-shirt and a hat and just like boat shoes or something. That's a good look. I just love it. So if you have any suggestions and even the beads are like this emerald green, gorgeous. I came up here so excited to try these things on and then I was so excited to talk to you that I just put my camera up and I forgot to put accessories on today. So I'm going to edit this video and hopefully I'm going to get out by the pool with John and hopefully Will and Brooke and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.